a lot of people get their thyroids removed. This is the thyroid. All right. The thyroid right here. See that? This is the Ishma right here that keeps the thyroid connected. The thyroid is the gear shift of the actual body. The thyroid is what puts the body into drive. The thyroid is what puts the body into park. The thyroid is what puts the body into reverse. The thyroid is so important to the body. So the thyroid is what deals with aldine. And what aldine is turned into after it receives its negative charge is aldide. And what aldide does is not it buffers the cells, it protects the cells, the uh, the membranes of the cells. Not only that, it produces T3 and T4 hormones. T3 and T4 hormones it actually uh, it actually brings up the con uh, the conductivity of electricity. It controls your metabolism. Whether you whether you eat a lot of food and your body breaks all the food down fast, that's the thyroid. Whether you eat a lot of food and it don't break it down at all that's the thyroid most people that eat food and, and they gain weight that's called hyperthyroid i mean hypothyroidism most people that eat anything and they remain skinny that's called hyperthyroidism the thyroid actually controls the positioning of your eyes that's why if you see some people with hypo or hyperthyroidism their eyes can protrude from their head that's all thyroid the thyroid actually controls the actual hair strengthening of the follicles that's why people that have thyroid issue get brittle hair brittle uh brittle hair or brittle nails, the breaking of the nails, because the thyroid, on the back of the thyroid, you have something called the parathyroid. And the parathyroid deals with something called calcitonin. And calcitonin is basically a signal that it hollers at the calcium magnesium bone matrix and it tells the actual bone to release calcium into the bloodstream. So the and the thyroid is dealing with your actual vitamin D. It's dealing with tyrosine. Tyrosine is what produces melanin. So, so if you have a messed up thyroid, it's messing with your melanin. If you have a messed up thyroid, it's messing with your awakening sleep pattern because the thyroid is in conjunction with the pituitary gland in the pineal gland in the adrenal axis. So the thyroid literally is dealing with every single organ in your body and it's damn near impossible to produce natural vitamin D3 without the thyroid. You have another one that's called tritryptophan. Uh, tritropophan. Tritropophan is another amino acid. These things mixed together is actually what creates your melatonin and substance. So the thyroid is super important. The thyroid is in control of your basal temperature as well. When you get a fever, that's the thyroid being alerted that there's a foreign invader in your body. So it will raise your basal temperature due to what you will call the, the follicular cells or the this 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 uh it's this H3O gel like substance called colloid. It will signal the cells of the body to raise its actual basal basement temperature of the basal sides of the cell. The body will then increase its temperature and literally try to burn out pathologies in the body. Any pathogens were there, it'll try to heat and increase the heat of the body to get them out. And it also thins the blood to increase circulation to a part of the body that has inflammation. So when you get rid of your thyroid, you are literally getting rid of all of that. It's actually kind of impossible to live without the thyroid. And that's the reason why when you get your thyroid taken away, they give you actually hormones that you have to take for the rest of your life. Because it's impossible to live without these hormones because these hormones it literally governs every single cell in the body. And if you look up vitamin D, that's what it does. There is no cell in the body that doesn't produce glutathione or doesn't need vitamin D. And all of these different things are tripped or signaled by, guess what, y'all? Aldide, or what you would call anionic negative aldide, the thyroid gland. So we need the thyroid. So if you get your thyroid removed... Right. If you get your thyroid removed or if you have thyroid problems, never get it removed. I would never suggest anybody get their thyroid removed. You can cleanse the thyroid.